Hey guys, in this video we are going to learn about list in Python. There are multiple things that you should know about list, okay? And in this video we are going to cover all of that. Myself Rakesh and I welcome you back to my channel Automate with Rakesh. Please do subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell icon to stay up to date. Now let's see what are this list in Python and how this is created, what is the syntax, everything we are going to learn one by one. Now first of all, let's say if I have to store multiple numbers inside a single variable or a collection of different values inside a single variable. For that, a list data type is used. A list is a kind of a data type which is used. For example, 10, 12, 5, 85, right? Some, some numbers, random numbers I'm trying to insert. So what this will do, by defining this way, this nums variable is now containing multiple values. The nums variable is now containing multiple variables. Okay. Now the first thing you need to understand, Rakesh, it's very difficult to remember if I have to use a square bracket, whether I have to use a curly bracket, parenthesis, what should I use? I generally forget. Don't worry. Now for a list, if you look at the alphabet L, the alphabet L is more like a square bracket if you put an upper one, right? So by remembering the alphabet L, it will be very easy for you to recall, hey, I have to use a square bracket. So this is a memory reference which I am giving, okay? So this is how you'll be declaring. Now the first thing you would have, okay, I have created a list variable. But is it a list variable? How do I know that, Rakesh? Okay, no, no worries. Just use a print command. And in the print command, I am going to say type. I am going to use the function type. And within this function, I am going to say the variable name. Getting it? So this way, if you hit on or if the moment you hit on execute, you would see this is a class list type. Getting it? So the list will be always be created with this square bracket and each value has to be separated by comma. So this is clear? This much is clear? Very good. Now let's move on to the next step. Okay. Now what if Rakesh, I would like to uh, print us, you know, how do I print this uh, list variable that you have created in uh, Python? So the moment I say print nums and execute, what would happen? The entire, if you see, the entire values have been printed, right? What if I would like to print only a specific value from a list in Python? So how do, how can I do it? It's very simple. All I have to do is use a square bracket. And in the square bracket, the moment if I mention zero and execute this, what is happening? I got the first value. What would happen the moment if I say uh, 1, what is happening? It is printing the second value. So remember, always your index numbers will start from 0. In most of the, in, in the programming language, the index number will start from 0. So that means if I have to access the last value in this list, if I count, the first value is there in index number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So the moment I say 4, what would happen? the last value 4 getting printed. Okay. Now, what if I would like to print a specific set of values? For example, I would like to start from the index number 2 and print it to the end. So, 2 colon if I write and execute, what would happen from the index number 2 which is 5854. So, 0, 1, 2 from here till the end it has printed. The same thing you can define. Let's say I would like to print uh, till 2 to 4. So, what would happen? This is the last index number. So, the output of this will only have two values. Tell me why? Because the first one is the index number. So, it will start from the starting index number and until 4. It will not include 4, but it's until 4. So, the index number 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, until index number 4, it is going to print. Remember this, okay? The last one will not include the last value. Rather, it is until that point, starting point and end point, okay? It is not going to contain the end point. Okay, so this much is clear. Now let's say I'm going to create one more variable called names and in this again I'll use a square bracket and within double quote or a single quote I'm going to provide some string values. Let's say Rakesh and then within double quote let's say I'm going to say John separated by comma. These are very important syntaxes. Okay, John and then let's say I'm going to give it a name called Rahul. Okay, this are the now we have two different we have two different variables right two different list variables 
Now in this list variable, one more thing I forgot to tell you. What if I would like to print specific values? For example, if I say 4x in, I am going to use the second variable names, colon. So by doing this, I would like to print each specific value, right? 4x in names, if I say, and if I say print, and I say x. So what is going to happen? The output is going to print Rakesh, John, Rahul separately. Do you see one by one it has printed first it has printed Rakesh then it has printed John then it has printed Rahul getting it okay now we have understood how to loop through the data how do you print a list how do you loop through the list we have understood how about can I Rakesh um, can I combine this two two list into one list yes that can be done so how we will do it let's create a variable first I'll create a variable called combine name nums names you can give your own names to the variable doesn't matter equals to so how you write your list the same way we will start we are going to use a square bracket and instead of values this time i'm going to use the variables okay now if i say print what would happen print and i'm going to say combine the variable name and if i execute shift f10 i can do on pycharm so you can see the entire value has been printed now you'll say rakesh i don't want entire value i want only specific values okay all right so that can also be done for example if i say zero what would happen now in this list if you only focus on this list this list has got two different values one is nums the other one is names regardless of they are they themselves are list that means I'm having list inside list. So the moment I say zero, the output of this would be the first set of values, right? Now I would like to access, let's say 85, I would like to access. So what is the index number of this? Zero, one, two, three. So if I say three, how do I write that? Again, square bracket and I'm going to say three. And if I hit on run, this is going to print the 85 value. The output of this is 85 getting it so you can give it to a variable like x is equal to this you know if you give that value get carried over to a new variable okay so, so this is understood how do you access a specific value from list of lists okay all right now there are a couple of new things that you must be aware python has got its inbuilt functions okay python has got its inbuilt functions one by one we are going to learn Let's say I would like to add a value to the list. So I'm going to use the nums variable here. Dot, I would like to add a very, uh, value. So I'll use the function of the method called append. Okay, I'm using the function or you can call it as a method append and I'm going to add a value called 100. The moment I add append 100, what would happen? The value will get added to the beginning or it will get added to the end Tell me. So it will always be getting added to the end of the list. For example, let's print it and see the output. So the moment I say print and if I say nums and if I execute this, what is the output? The 100 got added at the end of the string. Now you'll say Rakesh, I don't want to add 100 at the end of the list, but I would like to choose a position. Let's say I would like to add here. After 12, it should be added here. So how that can be done? Okay, that can be done using a function called insert. Okay, so the insert has an option to provide the index number and the object value. So here I am going to use the insert. So I am going to provide the index number. So what is the index number? 0, 1, 2, right? I want in the second position. So I will say 2, comma, and what is the value I would like to add? Let's say I would like to add 100 to the num array, num list. Now if you print this, what would happen? The 100 got added just after 12. Getting it? So insert is the function which can be used to specify which specific area or which specific position the value should be inserted into in the list so this one we have understood now let's say we'll have a few more questions let's say uh, is it possible uh, to understand how many times a specific value is there for example if i i'm going to add one more value called 10 here okay i would like to know how many times 10 is there inside a list how that can be done okay so for, to do that i will simply say print and i'm going to say the variable name dot i will use the function called count and here in this i am going to provide the value which i would like to count 
Now, if you see, the output should, should tell me there are two different two times the 10 is present in the list. So if you if you execute this, the value is saying 2. Getting it? So this is the function. Count function should be used to understand how many times a value is there. What if I would like to remove a value? Let's say I would like to uh, remove 10. Okay. So how do I remove it? Because it's a duplicate and I would like to remove it. So to, to remove, uh, not, not duplicate, but again I would like to remove a value. So how do I remove a value from a list? For that again I will use the nums variable and the variables in python are case sensitive right so i uh, nums and i would like to remove it for that again there's a function called remove this is a very you know simple english language remove insert append so it is very easy to also to remember so nums dot remove and what value would you like to remove i would like to remove 10 okay and then after removing you print the nums list and let me see how the output is coming so now our list is in this format having 10 two times is going to remove it and then the output will be printed here right so let's execute this okay so what happened the 10 <coughs> right so the 10 has been removed right the 10 has been removed but again it has removed the first 10 it did not remove the last 10 getting it now you have a question rakesh why it has deleted the first one i actually i wanted to delete the last one okay for that so what it does the remove will always go from the first to the end and it's going to see wherever the value is there for the first time it is going to remove it right so it has removed it now let's say i would like to remove the last one or let's say the 10 is here for example if i type a 10 here so the 10 is there in the position number what zero one two three the position number 3 it is available. I would like to remove that. Now for that pop. Pop means what? Pop out. Throw it out. Right? Pop it out. So I will use the function called dot pop. Pop. Right? So this is this has an option to delete a value using the index number. So here the index number is 0, 1, 2, 3. The 3 is the index number. So I am going to say 3. Getting it? Now if you if you print this, the output will remove this 10 from here and print the rest of it. Okay, you can see after 5 there is a 10 and the 10 has been removed. So for that to remove a value based on the index number you have to use something called pop. Now you have a question Rakesh. How about I would like to delete right. Um, I would like to delete uh, multiple values at a time. This is like 1 1 value. Can I uh, if I say 3 comma um, uh, let us say 4 if I say and let me execute. So it is giving an error, right? Pop expected at, mo at most one argument at a time. So I, it got two. So you cannot use pop to remove multiple values. Now to remove multiple values, all you have to use, use something called del. Del means uh, deleting, right? DEL. So delete from what I would like to delete from the variable nums, right? And then within the square bracket, right um, you know what what exactly i would like to delete so not uh, parenthesis i have to use the square bracket so use the square bracket and here i would like to delete from the position number 3 so 0 1 2 3 till end so what i will do 3 colon if i say it is going to remove everything and print. so it is now the, what would be the output 0 1 2 uh, 3 right so it should keep until here and rest of it should be removed. So let's see that. Okay, let's see that. Let's execute this. So what happened? 10, 12, 5 has been printed. So until 3 it has been printed. 0, 1, 2. So 3 is not printed but again until 3 has been printed. Okay, so first 3 values got printed and the rest has been removed. And the same thing can be defined 3 to 4, 3 to 5, whatever you like you can, you know, do that exercise to specify what if i would like to clear everything i don't want to keep any value i would like to clear the list sometimes you would like to clear the entire list right so to clear the entire list what is the function i should use nums dot dot there is something called clear okay clear and parenthesis now if you print the output will be null there will be no value inside the list you can see it is a null value Okay, so we have learned about uh, insert, append, count, remove, right, uh, pop, clear, all these things, delete we have learned. Now the next thing that we will be learning 
how about shorting the value let's say i would like to short the value right this is also very important so shorting value again you have a function nums dot short okay short and then you can close the parenthesis and look at this 10 12 5 10 85 4 10 like this it is there right it on this so this way it has shorted the values to 4 5 10 10 10 12 85 85 getting it so there are different things that you can experiment but these are the very basic useful uh, methods in a list in python now let's say um, you know uh, many many programming languages if you are done to find a minimum value maximum value we have to write a for each loop and inside that for each loop you have to define you know you have to really write a set of code but in python it's quite easy they have their inbuilt functions for example um if i have to print uh the minimum value okay so all i have to do i have to simply say min and then within uh, brackets i would use the variable name let's say i'm using uh, not names it has to be number right minimum value will be for the number so i'll use the nums variable okay now doing this if you say if you see it, it is going to print the minimum value from the list what is the minimum value four is the minimum value right if i going to execute this the output has shown four the same thing can be done let's say i would like to print the max value i will say max and num so these are the inbuilt um uh, inbuilt functions sorry i have written in capital so m a x small okay now if i execute 85 getting it the maximum value is 85 so this things are quite easy in python you don't have to really write a set of like codes to find a minimum value maximum value but this can be easily done in python just by using the inbuilt functions okay now one more thing um, you know there is something called uh, you know let's say if you would like to add uh, this um, you know this one with this one so there is something called for example if i say nums the variable name nums uh, dot there is something called extend okay extend and if i say the next list names so what would happen let me show you if i say print nums execute now tell me what would happen this is going to add this two values or this two pair of data into a single list so there are two different list and i'm combining both the list into this one okay this is one way the other way let's say i would like to add some multiple values into a existing list so that can also be done all you have to do use a square bracket and mention some value let's say i want to add 1 2 3 4 5 there are five values i would like to add into num okay now if you print this what would happen the output would come do you see it, it has been all had been added multiple values had been added to a uh, list at uh, you know in a one shot right with one code i have added uh, all the multiple values to list in python getting it so these are the different ways uh, or different functions that will be very very useful uh, in list i hope you are enjoying the series and i am pretty sure in this video you have learned a lot of things around list in python how to use uh, we have learned about different functions so please do visit please do practice and please do maintain a notebook where you are writing everything because what you learned today nobody can guarantee if you are going to remember it after a few days right you might have little bit of doubt so it is always good practice to write it in a book and it is always a good practice to refer that book anytime you are free just refer that book it will be quite easy to recall what you have learned so thank you guys for watching this video please do uh, continue to learn on our channel please do subscribe to our channel and please do hit on the bell icon thank you guys we are going to meet once again in our next video till then take care bye bye